one of the best parts about making a beer can chicken. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This episode is going to be another one of our cooking episodes. Uh, we're going to be doing one of the most easy, basic things that you can do on your Traeger grill or any grill or even your oven for that matter. It's going to be the classic beer can chicken. So without further ado, let's get started, get this chicken going and get it on the grill. Alright, so here we have everything that we're going to need to do our beer can chicken. Of course you got your chicken and you got your beer. We also have some oil and our seasoning we're going to put on and some things that make it a little bit easier. You don't have to have them, but um, definitely do help. Uh, we have our Traeger Chicken Throne, which just helps to uh, help the chicken stand up better. And then also put in a metal tray just to, again, help keep some of the mess from the rub and anything like that contained and not getting inside the grill. So the first step you gotta do is you gotta turn your grill on and get it preheated to 350 degrees. So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, We'll get the grill started, and then while the grill gets started and gets preheated here, that's when we'll go in, um, we'll get our beer, the chicken ready, and get it all seasoned and ready to go on the grill. Alright, so while your grill is preheating to the 350 degrees, first thing you can do is you can start to get your seasoning and get everything ready to go. Uh, today we're going to be using Stonehouse Grill Rub, which is kind of their basic grill rub that's good for just about anything. So one thing I like to do, um, you don't have to do it, some people do it, others don't, is they just season the outside of the bird. So what I'll do is I'll actually season inside the cavity as well before we go putting it on the beer can. Okay, so we season the inside cavity of the bird. The next step is to uh, fill up your throne or you know, just, you're just using your can of beer is to get that ready, put the chicken on there, and then we'll move to the next part of the seasoning. Oh God, that's cold. If you follow, you betcha, that's homage to them. Right here's your secret ingredient. You're using bush lattes. You're using the you know nectar of the gods, the best beer out there. So this chicken is just going to be even that much better just because of this. So when I fill the throne up with my beer, I typically fill it till right about there, where you can see where it kind of narrows down to the throat. I'll go a little bit over that, but not too much. All right, so we got our beer poured into the Traeger throne. So one thing I do is I put the throne into a metal tray such as this, just to help keep, you know, when you season, keep the mess inside there, um, rather than getting it all over the place and inside the grill. So once you do that, you take your chicken, and you're gonna slide it down over that throne. Just like that. You can take the legs, kind of prop the legs up a little bit, now the throne is very stable in itself, that's the one nice thing with it, but I always still just prop the legs up a little bit just to help give it that extra stability. But yeah, there we go, we got that, everything in there, and now we'll move on to seasoning. Okay, so the one thing I do with seasoning, uh, just to help, is I'll do a little bit of some oil on the bird. That just helps the seasoning to stick to it. Once you have some oil on the bird, you can go ahead and season the rest of it on the outside. Go ahead and really cover this up. You alright down there, Remy? What, you want some chicken? Yeah, I know. All right, excuse the dog air, but we'll get back to seasoning. Might have to use two hands to really coat some of this on the bottom, so I'm gonna sit you guys down. There you go. So this is all seasoned. All right, the one nice thing with the Traeger, if you got the Pro Series, you get the Wi-Fi enabled, and as you can see, we're preheated. We're actually a little over our 350, but that's fine. Uh, it's been preheating now for about 10 minutes, so we'll go ahead, 
we'll get our bird put on there and get it cooking. Go ahead and get your chicken put in the grill. All right, our timer went off, probe alarm went off, we hit our 165, open it up and, oh yeah, there you go, you can see that. It is ready to go. See how the tray also helped to keep some of the mess in there instead of letting it get into the grill, which is nice. Alright, here's another look now that we got it in the kitchen of the finished product. I cannot wait to give this a try. It smells so good. The only thing left to do yet is you have to remove the chicken then from the throne. Just got to be a little careful. Could be a little hot, especially with some of the juices. Just take it off of there. And we'll take it and we'll lay it here on our cutting board. And boom, we'll be able to slice this thing up however we want. And it's ready to go. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a real easy recipe. It's a real basic thing to do on your Traeger or any grill, like I said earlier in the video for that matter, or even on those cold winter days if you want to be out to grill, you can even do it in your oven. So I really hope you like this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel.